40 years ago this week, Tall and Dean won gold in Sarajevo. Can the Bulls today win for the first time in a long time against the Nappers of Nap Hill? Well, we're at Reading Way this afternoon on a pretty overcast day. It'd be interesting to see how Jay Giles fares and Adam Trotter back after spells out on the sidelines with injuries and Will Byers in uh, right back. The captain this afternoon will be Luke Campbell. Well, they're in red and white with blue socks. The Bulls wearing the third kit this afternoon, the orange and blue, a kit they haven't had much success in. But can they turn the tables this afternoon? Can they actually move further up the table and get closer to Napoli, who played a couple of games more so far this season? And the Bulls would get within sniffing distance of them. Can they take all three points here today? Mr. Trout is ready. Both keepers are ready. The assistants are ready. And we're underway. Goes past Hawken. Still going, Barlow. Good skill by him. Goes past Sani. He's going to take the shot. Oh, he does. Wow. Not that far wide. Decent effort there from Fraser Barlow. Nice run himself. He picked it up and he actually went past Badger as if he wasn't there. It's going to be a Napa's throw. Gipper Hawken launching it. Campbell solid in the challenge there. Out jumps Kazowski. There's a chance here though for Jake Orr to get around the back here now. Jay Giles trying to get back. Hawker still going into the box. Oh, looks like a penalty. Well, in fact, it's gone the other way. It looked initially like it was going to be a penalty to the Nappers. It looked like Giles just caught him. And yet it looks like Jake Hawker is going to get a book for simulation. Well, he just to look that one back, but it looked for all the money here at Reading Way that it was actually Jay Giles. Maybe a let off for the Bulls here. Maybe a sign that the gods are shining on them here on a cloudy day. Forward it comes. Back into the feet of Bickley now. Out to Lacane who switched to this left hand side. Tries to play it in. Aziz picks it up. Nafka tracks. Loose ball there by Hawken. Causing a problem, Lacane is brought down by the opposite number seven. He is free kick. He's going to be in a decent position here. May well be a yellow card here for. Well, he's certainly going to go across that word. And there's a bit of afters as well between Zach Hawker and Johnny Lacane. More Zach Hawker than Johnny Lacane, in fact. But he's certainly had quite a lot to say for himself already in this first half, Zach Hawker. And it may be that he's going to get a final warning here from Mr. Trout. When in fact he's not. He's uh, just gone too far. And he's going to pick up a yellow card. In fact, both of them are. And it's probably from the retaliation from Johnny Lacane. Well, the free kick will still go to the Bulls, though, in a decent position. The winners will get a bit of an advantage, you feel, into the box, though, cleared. Edge of Lacane hooks it back, falls in, shot comes, hits Campbell. Bickley trying to fight for it. Now Lacane again. Watson. Plays it back on inside and the far post. Well, it's stealing in at the back post. It looks like it's Luke Campbell there and he just can't keep it down. And it goes over the bar, but probably the best chance the Bulls have had in this first half. Going to left back is Byers. Well, here come the Nappers. Flicked on. Trouble. Well, Sani, it falls to in the end and then he tries to take the shot he just hooks it into the advertising hoardings behind the goal doesn't trouble Piers Roche at all but probably the best chance that they've had the Nappers this afternoon and maybe Sani just didn't expect it to come to him and when it did he just can't find the target now Curtis comes forward into the feet nice flick on Barlow now Barlow turns inside Barlow tries to square it to Bickley can he turn takes the shot well he curls it and it nearly Nearly creeps into that top right-hand corner, but that's a really good effort there by Lorne Bentley with the left foot. Can't quite make it. Looked like Barker was beaten. And in the end, he watches it sail past. So, Williams Boas is on through the middle. As he tries to find him, and then round the back, here comes Hawker, and then, well, across the face of the goal. And it just evades everyone. 
Barlow does well. Johnny Lecain does enough, gets inside, away from Sani, and now trying to get Cavalier in, who's jumped, and it's fallen to Bickley. And then Diet gets there, but Trotter sliding in, and he's played it in. Can Barlow get there? Barlow squares it, and there in the middle is Bickley! Well, he's done it! We've just talked about it. Could there be a bit of magic? And it is Lorne Bickley who comes up with the goods again. He's had nothing to do, really, or any chances this afternoon. He's battled away with diet and drink water. But now, has Lorne Bickley broken the hearts, broken the hoodoo of the orange third kit? We shall see. Still a long way to go, but that is certainly the Philip that the Bulls needed. Has Bickley managed to secure three points. Can the Bulls go on to get another? Piers Roche just making the wall of Cavalier and Kilshaw. Not the tallest, but make sure it's solid. A lot of movement, edge of the box. Birchett and Campbell, and in it comes. Play short in the end. Ball played in, flicked off, cleared, is it? Just about, comes back in. Will Roche get there? The header comes in. Shot comes in, Roche is there and does well. Looks like it may well have been just a final touch there from their skipper Hawk, and it was in fact. He got the final touch, but no power on it. Hawken with the throw towards the near post. Curtis flicked on, cleared, and then Barlow gets in and ahead of everyone. There's a chance of penalty, but there's a chance of a break with Cavallio. Bickley's got to hold the line. Cavallio still going. Cavallio taking it on himself. Can he get past Drinkwater while sliding back in the end? Looks like it's. Hawker, Jake Hawker, who does enough and maybe just gets himself a little bit of cramp in the end, but it was a chance there. There's shouts of a penalty, and as Barlow goes in, it looks like he actually won the ball fairly. And then a chance for the balls to break with Cavalio. Ben LaRouge tail is on, so that's a pretty much defensive change there, and it makes sense. And they're going to well, send Campbell forward now as Watson will look to deliver it. In it comes, far post. Campbell is there, cross it. Wow, just saved at the feet there by Barker. It's going to be a corner. It's not what Napville will want. It's what the Bulls will be happy to see, though. Campbell there getting in. Well, they weren't sure he was going to go forward then, and in the end, he does. Forces the save out of Barker in the end. Birchett has Aziz here for company. Watson is across. He's been everywhere. He just takes a piece at Aziz, but nothing given, and Aziz is tricking and weaving and back is kill short Roostail's missed it into the box it comes somehow Campbell unbelievable strength from him to keep Jacob off the ball there and Roche would just pick it up in the end but Campbell superb from the skipper throw in finally comes it's the Barker he's going to look to launch this one forward Bickley goes and nearly closes him down there Lecane with a header, solid. Now Barlow, Barlow will look to take this forward. Barlow still going, as is there, Barlow inside. Is the break on here, Trotter ahead of him to Bickley. Bickley now, Bickley on his own. Bickley, can he finish? He does! Lord Bickley has done it, he certainly won it for the balls. The break was on and Bickley has found the net for the second time of asking this afternoon. It's the balls who've got the second. And it uh, looks like there's been a bit of afters here. Gonna have to see who it was, it could be a sending off here. There's going to be a conference, you'd think, over here. Naphill have seemed to have lost their nerve completely. Well, you can see the cut to the eye of Lorne Bickley there. What that came from, we'd have to look back and see. But there's going to be some afters here for Mr Trout to sort out. The blood has literally been spilt this afternoon. Lorne Bickley is not happy. The management team have had to pull him from the pitch here. He scored the goal, but he is really upset with what's happened. And Naphill really are letting themselves down here. If the assistant has seen this, whoever's done that is going to get a straight red. It's really become unpleasant here. Piers Roche is for everyone is now on the pitch. And that was serious foul play if it was what we think it was. Well, Mr Trout is being observed this afternoon. And what a way to finish a game for him. Well, we're still just not sure what actually happened. But Bickley's getting some treatment. It's 2-0 after all that, believe it or not. Just want to know who it was. 
Well, we think it might be Hawker there, number seven. It doesn't surprise me if it is him, to be honest. He's been a bit angsty all afternoon, and he's still having a bit of afters here, talking to Luke Watson, but we think it may well be him. And he won't back down here. Well, it has turned unsightly. All the management of the Jersey Bulls. Well, Bickley can't come back on because of the blood. So there's going to be a bit of an advantage by what appears to be a foul from the Nappers, which means that Bickley can't come back on. The Bulls are down to 10. The Bulls are up two. And it's all ended a little bit unsightly but the cheers are for the jersey balls here the nappers have been beaten the hoodoo is over the kit color doesn't matter anymore there's claret spilt here at reading way but jersey balls have done it finally they've beaten nap hill this season it's been a long time coming for some but they've managed to do it and the hero this afternoon is lawn bickley who gets both goals the second one, a breakaway. The first one, great play with Barlow. It's going to be interesting to see how the players leave the field this afternoon. Tempers have definitely been raised by that foul, we think, on Lorne Bickley as he scored the second. It's going to be an interesting replay and highlights package for everyone when we get to see exactly how it ended. But it is all over here at Reading Way. It is Nap Hill nil. Jersey Bulls two, all three points are secured on the road as the players do finally shake hands and leave the pitch. Well, it's done, it's three points in the bag. It's now Tuesday when the Bulls will come back against Fleet Town and that will be live as well. So we hope you've enjoyed you watching this afternoon. The Bulls are back, three points. We'll see you next time. <laughs>